Hello, everyone, and welcome back to the world of Risk Global Domination. I am Kilted. I'm a competitive player in Risk Online. Risk Online. We're the purple player today. Anonymous purple player from the United States of America. We're hopping in to play Classic Fixed Risk. Good old school Classic Fixed Risk. I have Blizzards on and Alliances on, so we can obviously make alliances and betray them and have everybody angry at me. Because you didn't honor your alliance with your friend. You murdered him in the back. And that's kind of the... The whole point of uh, global domination, when you want to be the last man standing out of six, at some point you need to betray your ally. But you try to give him second place. All right, so today we are loading in on classic fixed world domination. We have hard AI, alliances on, blizzards on, no fog, no portals. And orange is just going buck wild for North America. No concerns, no cares, just reckless abandon, doesn't care. General Thump wants it all. We've got... Jamya Higashi from United Kingdom. Yellow player. He took some damage, but he's got a ton of troops over there. Probably going for South America. Uh, General Butala from United States. Blue player. He's got a clean, clean uh, Australia. We've got uh, General Hai, 14556. Hi to you as well from Canada. Uh, he's, where is he? Purple? He's black, and I don't know where. He's kind of spread out everywhere. Where am I? Here. And then uh, we got General Pummel from France, the red player. Down to 16 troops already. He's tasting it pretty hard. Black is adding into Europe. Oddly enough, maybe you can go away from me. And because uh, I would like Europe, honestly. Yellow's going to take South America so quickly. And he's going to force red into Africa. Africa's going to be very difficult to get. I'm going to full send all of my armies into Europe. So what is my first card? I don't really have a one to hit. The only one I have to hit is Egypt. Maybe I add two, hit Egypt, and then stack here and fortify it. <laughs> Something like that. I could also hit through this orange two and fortify the Ukraine, leaving this three and this five. Leave my two here. We'll see. <laughs> I'm going into Ukraine, though. That's what I want to do. Make an eight on two. I could bring six up, make this an 11, if I get a good dice. Otherwise, I put four here, make it a nine. Nah, I'm not hitting the two. We're going to just hit a one, because red's also coming out anyway, so. That's the one that preserves the most of my troops. We'll start with the cavalry. I'm going to try to claim Europe. Uh, maybe we can force black down. going to offer some alliances. Uh, no need to ally with orange. She's a lunatic. Yellow will ally later when it becomes uh, neighborly. going to ally with black and try to ally with red. Maybe red. Oh, man. It's a lot of troops. You know what would be funny is if he went up and smacked that five stack. Bam! No. But now red and black, we're like all trapped. Like red can't get out. Black can't get out. We're all stuck. And it's okay. Maybe I go to Scandinavia and then bring all my stuff in. I'm going to make a full play for Europe today. We'll see how it goes. Um... It's probably going to be painful. We may at some point, with orange overextending in North America, we may at some point have black transitioning to North America. And if I put enough of a claim into Europe, red may come down to Africa. So if I'm going to predict how this goes... Hey, hey, hey. Who rules? Doyle rules. If we're going to predict how this goes. Orange is going to roll his troops out like a psycho, and then black will transition into North America. Yep. It's playing out as expected. W1 Pro with the gift sub. Thank you, bro. Thank you so much. King John in the house. What's up, man? Black is routing the North America army into Europe. He is for now, but once he sees how much Orange suicides all his troops, maybe he goes back and just takes it from him. Orange probably keeps slamming everything and then quits, right? General Thump doesn't know any better. If I was blue, I would have taken Africa a long time ago. <laughs> Black doesn't accept my alliance. Rolling a four on one, bringing these stacks together. Okie dokie. Going out or in? He's going, oh, he's going out. Interesting. Oh, that I need to let that in. Let that in in North America. Let him, let him shine. All right, we have an artillery and a cavalry 
All of our troops are kind of in the middle. We need to trade as soon as possible, though. So what's red do? If he hits any of these threes, I'm assuming it's mine. Send him a heart. Like, I'll get out of your way. You don't have to hit it right away. Okay, good. He understands. He understands. I wish he rolled his two out make it easier for me. He's making me hit his two. Like, there's two twos in my way. He wants to go out this way. He wants to send me into Scandy. Red's also blocking Black now from coming in here. Just woke up to go pee, pee, and wish you a happy Ram Dinglemas from Down Under. I'll be watching this on the Rewind. What's up, Jerry? Jerry Poppins, thank you, man. Good morning to you, I guess. Wait. You woke up to go pee. It's not morning for you. Oh, I guess it's the middle of the night. Yeah. You're, 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 uh, that's fair. Black is still adding in Spain. You have some wishful thinking. Of course I have wishful thinking. <laughs> How do you feel about making double trades after a kill? If you make a kill and trade on seven, do you think you should be able to trade with the remaining four cards? That's interesting. I've never thought of that before. Kind of give you like an option there. It, it would, it would, uh, it would add more of a benefit to being more aggressive. I don't hate stuff like that. Oh, orange is quitting now. Shocking. You blitz all your troops out like a full on potato and then you, you, you quit. Dude's got an older account too. This is like a, a year old account or something almost. This man takes his bonus now. No, not even. <clears throat> Why are these guys so cautious on their bonuses? How often do you see somebody this cautious on their bonuses? I mean the red 12, I guess, but if you ally him, you're fine. <laughs> yeah, I'll give you an alliance. You're fine. This orange three now is blocking my three from coming out. Because orange botted, his bot put a troop in my way. Damn it. He's also going to start putting troops here. Yeah, he's going to go out. <laughs> Five starts rolling stuff. How do I? This is interesting. I'm trying to survive also. I don't want to get eliminated, right? We need a dude card. Oh, that was a good dice roll. And a dude card. We're in this game, baby. Alcatraz Capitals. I love Alcatraz, man. Black's playing progressive. No, I think Black's going to slowly take North America. Give her a thumbs up. Woo! All right. We are playing Classic Fixed World Dom, and we've got the big juicy trade to start. That is amazing. My three can't get out, but red did vacate. Wait, Orange is back. Oh, yeah. Slammy Slammer time. Our orange boy is back. Yes, full on lunatic dog time. Do you move the 13 Afghanistan to let red out? No, I, I let him out this way, yeah. I hit Scandy. I'm, I also thought orange was botting, so a bot was likely to add more troops in here randomly. I didn't want it to do that. <laughs> I really hope he doesn't hit my three. You have more options than hitting my three. Yes, thank you. Like, if a six got out of the way, I would try to do a reach around in. How does yellow still not have this? Okay, so yellow's waiting for a trade. Oh, please work. Yes. Yellow's waiting for a trade to take us South America. I don't hate the idea. Orange is a psycho and you don't know what red's doing. But I would have allied him. Give black a heart. If he gets out, I'm taking it right now. No, go the other way. Go to your six. Shit. I wanted to take it right now. <clears throat> Who do I kill next turn? No blue, no black, no orange, no yellow, no red. I can't kill anybody next turn. Oh, 
Oh, we'll do that. Black should leave, and I'll have a three-point Europe honeypot with the uh, Southern Europe blizzard. What is this? Risk-friendly domination? It is the last day before ranks reset, right? Ranks reset in like seven or eight hours. <clears throat> so, as you saw in that Europe Advanced game we played, people are trying to like hang on to their rank points, you know? Like, I think this account I have is like currently like just barely above Grandmaster. I think it was just over 26,000 when we started. And now it's whatever, 27 or something. So like if, if we play some Fiesta Dogtown settings and fall beneath Grandmaster today, it's not a big deal because it then the account just drops to 16,000, I think, on the reset. But we'll get it back. Just like I don't care about the rank, right? So I just play whatever and we usually end up in Grandmaster. <laughs> Should they make a risk a seven gear game a seven player game? I think uh, it's something Pete's also talked about. It would be very, very interesting to have like eight player lobbies, bigger maps. Eight player lobbies, uh, different turn timers, maybe 30 seconds and 45 seconds and 75 seconds added for turn timer options. Uh, there's lots. There's lots we should have. <laughs> I did a rank last night. Four hour Europe advanced got second. Brutal. Oh, God. The four hour ones are brutal, man. I understand. Orange is about to trade and do some ram dingling. I think black's coming in to Greenland. No, blue, please don't hit me. Oh, he's going to hit me. The dude trade. Yeah, he's taking Siam. It wasn't worth it for me to... Oh, he's not. Yeah. No, 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 no. Let me connect my three and I'll get it out of your way. If he left his nine here, I would have went up and got out of his way. I would have went through China to Mongolia, man. I would have done it. All right. Okay, I don't think yellow's gonna break me. Can I trust black? And then I move out of red's way. I blitzed my troops out to help Red down here. I moved out and blitzed them and give them a thumbs up. I couldn't send better, clearer signals if possible to Red right there. The only downside about blitzing into that two is yellow might be like, why are you rolling my two, bro? But I mean, I need to be friends with Red. Red also is gonna have a sick two point, right? Now he can just run the 15 to Middle East and bring this 15 to North Africa. That's a great play. This blizzard also gives Africa a two point. He should go to Middle East and then bring the 15 to North Africa. There's no point not holding that. You can have a two point guard instead of... and uh, Instead of being open. Orange doesn't trade on four? Uh, does black go for his kill? Oh, doggy. Does black try to kill him? Or feed him to me? What happens? I can't kill him, right? And Because I can't really... Uh, I'd have to get this three and then pop, pop, pop. Three, two, maybe? There's no point in me killing... I don't know. I want to see a game where there are as many territories as there are territories. Uh, there are as many players as there are territories. So everybody gets one territory to start? How would that even work? <laughs> Yeah, so yellow takes, yeah. Red should come to Middle East with one of these stacks and put the other stack in North Africa. Then he has a two point. <clears throat> now. Okay, if he'd stay there. Ugh. All I want to do is get my three out of Siam and you can combine your troops and we can be friends. He just won't let me out. Wait, he's actually going to let Orange trade? 
Doggy, you're gonna let Orange trade? <clears throat> okay. In that case, I'm just not gonna be able to kill Orange. Dude, stop losing troops. Cavalry! No, okay, that's fine. What's up, Richard Bronco? Kilted, what's up? That's me. Do you rather us watch on Twitch or YouTube? Uh, wherever you prefer to watch is where you should watch. There are people that like Twitch better. They like the subscribes on Twitch with the emotes and uh, and that stuff. And then uh, some people that, it, like if you're not subscribed on Twitch, you can watch on YouTube. Uh, YouTube doesn't play ads during my live streams. I add the ads after the stream ends. So like during the stream, there's no ads. The second the stream ends, I monetize it. And it kind of exists on YouTube as like a video anybody can go watch later. Like I have a live streams playlist of all my YouTube live streams of all time. And you can go watch any of the live streams I've ever had on YouTube. And they will play like a normal video with ad inter intervals and whatever else. But like, and some people prefer kick. Like there's a few people that prefer kick. So it's whatever, whatever you guys like. Yeah. I think Black should have killed Orange because now he's got a problem. He was in a great position. Oh, the 10 and the 13 here blocking actually. Maybe he couldn't. Yeah, he couldn't, right? With these. Oh, that's unfortunate. Maybe he actually wanted to and he couldn't because of these. I didn't see that. I just tuned in. Did Orange skip a card one turn? Uh, Orange, like, sort of lost connection or, or missed his turn once. It wasn't a card skip. It was kind of like uh, we thought he was botting. He's kind of a lunatic that just smashed all his troops and then he missed a turn. We thought he quit. But yeah, so he did miss one. Wish you had more people on here uh, on kick because the subs are worth double here. They are worth double. Uh, Picket Fence has done a lot of gift subs on, on kick. Very appreciative of of, uh, of him coming in and doing that. Roll the three for black. He opened him to me. No. Why? <laughs> I am guarding my back door. Orange is a looney tune. No, you don't come into me. What's up, Bernadette? Yo. Yo, Kyle, bro. Keep it going, mate. Thank you, man. I'll never forget you, Bernadette. Every time I see your name, I always think of the, the all-meat pizza. It was so good. First time watching live. Love it. What's up, Jay? Hell yeah, man. Welcome in. I'm, I'm, I'm enjoying the live streams on uh, multi-streams because there's so many more people that I, I get to hang out and talk to that I, I didn't previously, right? Okay, now Red's doing a triple guard where he only needs to guard two. He's sort of figuring it out. Nobody can hit Egypt. <laughs> There's a blizzard here. <clears throat> He'll get... Oh, no. God, I should have hit that three out forever ago. I didn't think it was actually going to ramdingle me, man. His beef is over North America. Fuck you, Thump. I hate you, bro. How many troops do I get? Three plus a trade? I can make this a 12, 11 v 9. <laughs> Jesus, that's annoying. Oh, man. He's knocking me out of What is this? I'm fucking tasting it, bro. Look at this. Wait, why is it eight? Oh, because I only put one troop down. Yeah, it'd be eleven v nine. Do I try eleven v nine on him?
He has no trade. Jesus, this guy, man. <clears throat> Very well played by Black, by the way. I hate it, but he opened Orange to me, and Orange is an idiot. So it was like a great play to be like, this guy is going to do something stupid. Andre with 100 bits. Thank you, man. Cheers. Much love, my friend. Much love back. Suicide Ram Dingle incoming. I might just get slammed by Orange. It might just happen. Sometimes you just play these games, and you can't control the dumb stuff that happens to you. It is what it is. I don't mind. We're here for the fun. Maybe we have a great game. Maybe we got a good comeback if we do get slammed, but maybe not. Get the fuck out of my bonus! Dude, Black is going King Orange's bonus? And then Orange breaks me. That's the stuff that you're like, you never see it coming. You're like, there's no way a noob is in a beef with this guy and he's just going to turn on to me for no reason. But he does. Is that two Jokers? No, no, a Joker and Cyan. There you go, Orange. I hope you bought. I'd love to see you bought. He can make an 8, 7, 6, 6 v 8, or 26, 25 v 30. He can't get in. I did the right split. <clears throat> what are your thoughts on large inner stacks versus guards, etc., on a Europe hold with blizzards such as these? You could. There's multiple ways you could do it. You could do, uh, you can guard or you can do a large inner stack. I don't like having my troops interior because I think. Especially on an aggressive board with like uh, a couple beginners or novices and like mixed skill lobby. People do give you opportunities. And if you're just stacking inside of your bonus, not threatening. Then when something happens, there's an opportunity on the board. You're not able to capitalize. And then if you have three people, we're all like, this guy's on Peru. Blue's sitting in Indonesia when he also owns Siam. So he's trapped. He's trapped. And I'm interior and I'm trapped. Maybe Red's guarding in Congo. Then we're all just sitting here doing nothing. Nobody's got active troops. So, like, if two people fight and they're almost dead and nobody has active troops to even kill them, then, they like, the game just plays forever. You need your troops to be able to do stuff. <clears throat> I'm all about fighting. Are all the round settings out yet for a KPO Bronson? No, not yet. I have round 9 done. Round 10's almost done. The finals I'm pretty set on, I think. And I'm finalizing rounds 11 and 12. Congrats, by the way, on uh, auto-advancing. You get to skip this week and next week. Fucking smashing it. <clears throat> In fix, it's rarely uh, worth it to act on an opportunity. <clears throat> rarely profitable. That's why I like to fight a lot earlier in fixed. Like, if you guys have watched me in uh, tournament games... Yeah, here we go. If you guys have watched me play, like, classic fixed tournament games, you'll see other people play it, and their games will be, like, an hour and a half long. A lot of my classic fixed tournament games are, like, 25 minutes long. Because I just try to use alliances. It's like, just go for the kills out the gate, and that, when people are posturing and stuff, that's when everybody's on, like, 22 troops and four cards. That's when you get your kills. If you have an explosive start to a classic fix game, they don't last that long, and they're a lot of fun. Red keeping this 14 on Egypt means he's kind of unaware of the effect of this blizzard. So we can, and he's doing some weird stuff here. I'll just give him a thumbs up. I want Red to know that whatever weird shit he's doing, I support it. I'm on his side. Don't do any more 70% game. Well, so Oldie, you kind of need 70% in winner only. Like imagine trying to play World Dom progressive in winner only and like that's all you play. You can't really do that in four and five player games. They'll stalemate. And in uh, just a world dom prog is basically who gets the, like if everybody's equal skill level, whoever gets the cards at the right time in the right turn order, that's pretty much where all that happens, right? So we can't, we, we kind of have to use 70% and we have to use zombies. We have to mix it up. Finals are Alcatraz prog caps. Oh yeah, true random portals, blizzards, all of it. Thanks, I didn't think I had a chance with a two-point round five. Dude, you're smashing. You heard it here first. Kyle says exploding is fun. Does he trap orange in here? Mm. That's good. Give orange an alliance request. Sorry, yellow. Blue's on 76. I'm down to 50 because of that orange shenanigans bullshit, right? 
He smacked a five, and then I lost five for the bonus, and then I had to lose more hitting an 11 v9. Like, all of that was annoying. Am I gonna get card blocked? What is this? I actually, based on this, I actually think blue and red are gonna get into a fight over cards. Cool. I actually think... Let's just chill. We're gonna chill. I have to use my wild if I want a big trade. I'm hoping to get a trade and keep the wild, but we'll see. Whew. You're... And then red fortifies the wrong way. It's very weird here. Yellow can at any point double break us. If he splits six and six again, I don't know what did. Grab his dick and twist it. I'm, that's not what I want to do when you try to card block me. I'm not going to grab your privates. <laughs> I guess, like, I don't need cards, but... So what I'm trying to figure out is... Red's on 69, by the way, but... At the start of the game, Red and I were communicating, and Red allied me, said he had to hit my territory, and signaled how to move out of Europe. Allied, signaled, uh, used, a used, like, proper communication. Like, that's a higher-level skill uh, communication, right? And now he's doing this. And card blocking me with North Africa open for my card. <laughs> Told you they're gonna fight. <clears throat> He's trolling. He wants you to open the 27. Hell no. I got other shit going on. Is orange killable? I mean, I'd have to go through, like, all these other stacks. Yellow being in North America is funny, too. Do I even just hit the four for a card, or do I chill? I'll just chill, man. Yeah, I'm going to use my plus two in Siam just for fun. Beautiful. I'm going to signal that I'm sad. And then I'm going to card skip. What's happening? Long time listener, first time caller. I've got you on in the background at work. Whenever I hear Ram Dangle time, I know to look at the monitor. What's up, Kirk? That's hilarious. Funny enough, Kirk, my name was almost Kirk. When I was born, my dad wanted to name me Kirk after uh, a Captain Kirk or whatever from Star Trek. But my mom wanted to name me Kyle because of uh, Kyle was the good guy in the first Terminator movie. And that was new. So I got Kyle instead of Kirk. My, mo my mom won that battle. And no offense, but I'm happy that I'm not a Kirk. I'm a Kyle. <laughs> Welcome in, man. <clears throat> Why did I skip? I'm not hitting the red six. I'm not hitting the red one. And uh, hitting a four stack of orange is not even worth a card. Oh, taste it. So hitting a four stack, on average, I'm going to lose three troops. I could lose five, six. So it's not really worth hitting that for a card. And I'm also not trying to feed these guys the orange bot. I want them to waste all of their troops if they want to kill orange. <laughs> I'm also not getting it. Red and blue doing stupid fighting is excellent. Excellent for me. Red and blue fighting with I have a big stack here ready to capitalize when they get serious. Like, look, this is getting serious. This is getting way serious. 19 v 18 next turn, like, I'm taking my turn as fast as possible. Look at this. Taste it. Yeah, rough daddy style. I'm taking my turn fast because red just got a stack hit by blue, so I want him to be, you know what I mean? This just happened. Black went fast. If I spend 45 seconds, it gives red a chance to calm down. It was only 10 seconds ago when blue just hit red stack. 
He hasn't had time to calm down yet. Are you pissed at blue? How pissed are you? Enough to stack Middle East? No. Okay, okay. Are you going to hit the 13 or are you going to do a reach around Sally? Uh, okay. Reach around Sally. How deep? How deep do you go? Just enough? Just a tip. So a little tickle. You may not be Kirk, but you're still a cuck. That's rude. I missed it. Is it fixed? Yeah, we're playing classic fixed. Captain James T. Kyle. Yeah. Maybe that should have been the name on Star Trek. Ca Star Trek. Captain James T. Kyle. My mom was too drugged up to name me. Oh, damn. <clears throat> Everybody's card block. What is happening? I Dude, this is a weird classic fix game. I actually really enjoying it. Like, orange was nuts. And then black did a play that made orange fight me. Cool. But this blue and red shenanigans, like, I really like it. And then yellow also sneaking into North America to choke it up. So orange is, like, surrounding the black stack. So he's single stacking, but getting forced to hit the, the bot stacks. <clears throat> It's also incredibly killable for five cards. Does black find a way to kill it for five? Boom, 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 boom. Boom, boom, boom. I, if you're black and you don't kill orange here, I don't know what to say. Split? No. I get cards, though. I'm happy with the cards. Boom, 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 boom. Are you listening? There you go. He did it. That's a double trade. Puts black over 50 troops, most likely. And uh, he has North America now. <clears throat> it took him a long time to get there. Somehow I have the most troops on the board, but yellow and blue have card advantage over me. But I have... Uh, recovered from the orange shenanigans. So I gotta scroll back down. It's uh, my, I want to name my son Jar Jar. Oh my god. Bloody bugs in risk. What, oh yeah, the, 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 the troop deployment. Sorry if I'm missing some chat, guys. I'm trying to keep up. <clears throat> keep your banner in, bruv? What banner? Do I have a banner? So black is assuming I'm not gonna break him. Interesting assumption, because he's right. I'm not. Seventy-five stack. That is crazy. Oh, double dudes in a wild card. <laughs> Isn't it an expensive kill? So he had to kill Orange. Orange for five cards. That was the correct play. Now he's on three cards, 57 troops, and he has North America. That was It was the, definitely the correct play for Black to kill Orange there. 100%. I was hoping he didn't do it because I wanted Orange to trade inside of him and keep fucking with him. But now Black has a chance. If, if nobody destroys him and he gets to hold North America, he comes right back into the game. He'll be getting as much as me per turn, red and blue fighting. He'll catch up to yellow, red, and blue. He won't catch up to me, but black will be in a great position if nobody screws with him. Yellow could kill him here. Yellow could kill him and be the North America guy and give South America to red. But if black survives, holds for a turn, and trades, then he's he's fine, right? So it all depends on what yellow does here. Oh, shit. Dude, the Ram Dingle's strong, man. <laughs> wow. Dude, Lena with the fucking raid. What's up? Thank you, Lena. Hope you had a great stream. Slash shout out Lena Kitty. If you guys don't know, Lena Kitty is one of the best players in the world right now. Highly advise checking the stream out. Shooting a follow. Oh my god, I don't know how to do commands because I'm so bad at this. I'm going to do a shout out on Twitch. Go check Lena out. She's great. Uh, <clears throat> does 477 viewers here on YouTube generate any good money? Uh, I get zero from you watching the stream when I'm live, but uh, when I put ads on the videos and stuff, like YouTube's okay. YouTube does okay. Is Lena also on YouTube? Uh, I'm unsure. But I can give you the link to Lena's um, Twitch. 
And uh, you can probably find Lena's YouTube. I'm assuming Lena has YouTube. I am indeed on YouTube as well. Okay, there you go. I shared you the uh, Twitch link and I'm assuming Lena has her YouTube. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Okay, so Yellow took that. <laughs> So I could kill yellow for five? But I have to go through a red 21. Okay, just gonna do that. No, I'm not doing the dude trade. Two big trades and keep the wild is what I want. Then red a heart. And a thumbs up and send blue a heart and a thumbs up and then attack red and i put this at red and then i'm gonna see if red will hit blue <clears throat> i killed yellow I, I had to hit a 21 of reds but i i, I want to progress the game and i think with these guys doing their weird shit, i can maybe get away with that sure if they hit me it's fine but i think i survive like i survive i definitely survive i have more troops than red right Blue's 37 is also trapped in a weird way, but maybe red hits a 20. Red's not adding to North Africa. It looks like they're doing stuff here. This 33 is all like both of them have 30 plus stacks trapped. <clears throat> Why path it that way? What, like where I point in the end? I <clears throat> Yep. Just thumbs up and a heart. Does he bring his 33 out? Does he chill? He leaves it. Can I get him to hit red? What is happening? Do you guys have any idea what is happening? <laughs> Woo! Mistake alert. Did I make a mistake, Johnny? Because I'm doing fun stuff. I'm here playing for fun. The reason I pathed in a way that ended down here is so I didn't threaten red. I didn't want to threaten red. <laughs> Australia! No, he could have took Australia! Oh, he could have done it! Oh, that would have been sick. Goes interior of himself. He traps himself again. People are playing so passive. Blue says our alliance is over. Okay, well. <clears throat> I'm guessing I'm getting hit by blue now. People play so passive on the final day of ranked, right? Like, I, the amount of people that wouldn't have taken that yellow kill and made this three player end game happen because it was expensive. He also hits red. Didn't break my Europe, though. Okay, Red.
Wait, I don't want to do that. I don't want to close my stack off. I wanted to go up so red could go around, but he can do whatever he wants. I'm not closing my stack off to blue. Can I get either of these guys to hit each other considerably? I sent another alliance to blue just in case, but uh, we'll see. If blue ever suicide slams me, I mean, it is what it is. It would be dumb, but <clears throat> I also know going into this end game that it was going to be weird, so. Breaks me, but also breaks red. Okay. Breaks Europe too. Backs off. <clears throat> okay. Kind of want to take Europe back. It says good game. All right, wild card. Can I get him to hit more of blue than one territory? I'll be disappointed. If he lets blue hold South America, I'll be disappointed. I didn't have stack access to do anything without opening blue. So it is... No. Don't tell me you're doing this. <laughs> ha! Okay, well. That's fine. He could have done, like, a bit of a clean out. <laughs> he guards now? Okay. Blue gets what? Eight. Tries to come into red again. Guards it. Let's see. Can he hit blue? Can we deadliest trap this guy? Take South America, please. Oh, I'm trying to work with them. Like, so they're not super, ex neither of these guys is a super experienced player. So it's going to be a struggle. Yes. Okay. Woo. Just had a Spanish player cap next to me in Alcatraz. Slow rolled his eight cap on turn one to send a message and the dice were with me. Lost nothing and took his cap. Jesus. Send red a heart. The blue has no trade. He's not breaking me unless he, unless red doesn't come back to north. Like, I don't know what he's doing. This is so tricky. Yeah, okay, so blue could maybe... I don't think he breaks everything. Okay, it doesn't. He's getting that ready. So let's say he gets a... He makes this a 20 or something. Wait, I want red to take Middle East, right? Okay, and tell Red to attack my territory. Yes. Now, can he stay there? Nice. If he doesn't move, we're in good shape. No! Oh. So close, man. He was so close. He was so close. He just had to not do anything. 
Blue card skips and stacks out. Okay, potential blue suicide coming in. <laughs> Who's he suicide? He won't accept my alliance. I thought about bringing the 112 over here. So I'm furthest possible from his stack completely bring the 112 here but what happens if i do that is he's he he can break me easy i mean he could break me easy anyway but he might think about just taking europe if i do that i don't want blue to take europe and hold it with like 330 stacks that puts me in an awkward spot so to prevent him from putting me in an awkward spot i'm gonna just hunker down and if he's gonna suicide somebody he suicides somebody and that's the end of the game he card skips so I get 15 a turn, and, 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 and this is how we're going to do it. Red gets 9, I get 15, blue gets 5, card skipping. <laughs> Red staying interior. <laughs> Very odd. Not really viable though. The whole board only gives. Oh, you're talking about killing red for five there? No. <clears throat> if somebody suggested that, I would have been too low. I wouldn't have been able to hit blue. I wouldn't have been able to hurt blue enough. Uh, he would have just been able to clean me with whatever he had left. Both of these guys want second or first. Neither of them wants to risk third. I, I've got a big advantage now. Though. I actually thought they were going to keep fighting. They had such a weird fight going on, and that's why I went for the yellow kill. I'm gonna just go take his Australia, see what happens. Gonna break North America? Yeah. It's fine. What? Weird split, okay. Him being split's better than him being single stacked for me. We're growing a lead. I can't kill either of them right now. <clears throat> Red's being trapped, so he's on purpose not having his stack accessible to the board. So if I do hit blue, Red's not going to follow it. Like, Red's already shown he's not going to follow me if I, if I do anything, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> Okay. That's like sort of guarding me, but also does red break me at some point? I think I'm pretty sure I broke red zero times this game. The 107 comes out. <laughs> okay. That's nice. I like it.
dude trade. Just had a cavalry trade. Where's my big ones? Blue has what, almost 50 troops less than red. Feed blue by hitting the 48 stack. It is tempting. I don't know if red would even go for the kill. The problem is, like, if I try to feed blue, would red actually follow it? And if he doesn't follow it, he just lets blue ram into me? It's, it's definitely not a bad idea to consider, though, trying to feed blue to red. Oh. This is, this, I like this a lot better. I like this a lot better. Yeah, I'm a big fan of Red's turn there. Very big fan of Red's turn. You know, interesting strategy he did. Very interesting strategy. He confused me. And then... Blue gets second, right? Hell no! Hell no! Red gets second for sure! Oh my god, in what world would I get blue second? Dude, blue second? I'd have 10,000 people unsubscribe from the channel immediately. 100% red deserves second. Very odd. So we got to the end game part where it was like all psychological. Um, blue's trying to make it as complicated as possible. But, uh... Accept your alliance request. Suck it. I ha I, I have. To, I can't end in the Congo because of uh, situations. I have to kill Blue first, right? So no ending in the Congo. He's gonna give me a dude card so I can trade dudes. Ah, uh, Congo! Yeah, baby. I still can't use it, but we got the Congo card. Let's go. Good game. Love for red. We'll end in Japan then. <laughs> Big trade on three with the wild card. Forty dollar blue gets second. Dude, no. <laughs> I read that too late, but also red red deserves second more than blue. Blue's a master. Red was a beginner. Poor blue. Uh, blue at any point earlier in the game could have just killed red and taken second. Uh, chose not to, and then got into a weird fight where he was fighting both of us, and that's what got him very weak. Red, red was not bad, but he he didn't realize the deadliest trap: the Ukraine Middle East Kamchatka three point choke out the Australia player. Uh, we we could have done that a little better and a little smoother, but I liked it. He realized I'm just gonna kill Blue now, and then when he made up his mind on it, he didn't have enough time to execute. But uh, we helped him. We pushed him over the hill there. Uh, that was a great classic fix game. If you got to the end of the video, please consider subscribing, and I will catch you in the next one.